Hey there campers, it's Barry here with Southern RV. We're out on our sales lot where we've got this brand new Jayco North Point 310 RLTS. This model is very residential, it has a lot of cool features. We're going to check out the outside, the inside, and we're going to show you some of the cool stuff that's on it. So stick with us and enjoy the ride. Starting at the front of the camper, one of the first things we see is this large solid front cap. It's got LED accent lighting built into it. We have a more rod pin box with the escutcheon plate. This is going to take out a lot of chucking in the ride when you're going down the road, especially when you're going over overpasses or uneven roadways. It's going to keep it from the truck feeling like it's knocking against the camper as much as a standard pin box does. It's a very nice pin box. Notice that here we have pre-wired for a generator. Everything's set up and ready to go. We have a large battery compartment. We can host multiple batteries. And we have room for tools and a few other things up top next to our pump. We'll push around to the side and I want you to notice that we're pre-wired for Furion camera system. This is a side view and rear view camera system that you can see running down the road. You can run all three cameras at once on a screen or individual cameras as well. It's pretty cool. It doesn't come with the cameras, but it's an aftermarket product that you can put on. All of our latches are slam latch and we have magnetic connections to hold them up and in place. Makes it easy to connect. You just simply push up and it latches into spot. The storage is passed through. Notice that we have an intervac system and tire pressure monitor. The intervac system is the interior vacuum and it comes with all of the attachments inside as well. You can see that we have a freshwater tank that's separate from the standard freshwater tank that pushes up to a small valve on the sink. We have outside entertainment here as well. Check out this TV that comes out. Pull it a little further and twist, and there we go. The TV is under this huge awning. We've got two electric awnings. They're LED lit. Moving forward, we have outside speakers, as well as an exterior spray port. There's a hose that comes with this that attaches here. Makes it easy to hose things off right before you go inside. So if you've got sandy feet, dirty bikes, maybe a dirty dog, you can clean them up right before coming in. We have a solid step entry, and this is on a strut assist. Let me open up the door here. And we'll show you how that works. They're very easy to use. They require very little effort. That's what the strut does. Super easy to use. We have a large grab handle as well. Makes it easy to get up and down inside the camper. Let's head around to the back. So on the back side, notice that we have a two inch receiver hitch. This has a 300 pound weight rating. It's gonna be good for cargo, extra bike racks, things of that nature. It's gonna to add to that storage capacity. Also, we have a ladder heading up to a fully walkable roof. All of our windows are frameless. You can see that Furion backup camera up there. This does have six point hydraulic leveling. Inside there's a residential refrigerator. This panel opens up and gives us access to the back side of it. 
which gives us access to the power as well as the water line and anything a repair technician may need to get a hold of without pulling that refrigerator out. The sewer hose drops down right next to this landing gear jack here, but all of our pulls are set up inside on the other side of the pass-through storage. We have another outside shower off area as well as all of our tank controls and water filtration. This is equipped with three very large LP tanks. Two of them are on this side. One's on the other side. There's a battery cutoff switch up in there as well. Let's hop up in the vehicle and take a look. So inside, when we first step up, one of the things that we come to first is our control panel. It's on a touch screen as well as has a few buttons for lights. Let's us scroll through everything that we need to have access to, run your leveling systems and all of the features inside, slides, everything. Down low we have some little accent lighting, access to our, remote, or our vacuum cleaner system. And there's a shoe cubby under the first step. All of the countertops are solid surface. We've got plenty of storage. This is a little nook here with some cabinetry up above and below. There's a pantry off to the back. Plenty of shelves and it's nice and deep. Again, our residential refrigerator is set here in the slide. Our island has lots of great features too. It comes with these sink covers, cutting board, and straining surface. And underneath we'll find a dual basin stainless steel sink. It has a power feature as well. All you have to do is push the button and pull it up. It exposes USB and 110 ports. The trash can is built into the island. There's some extra storage underneath. One thing I thought was pretty cool was this guy. It took me a second to find the feature because I wasn't informed of it initially, but uh, after digging around the camper a little bit, I found this massive cutting board hiding behind the couch here. We're going to slide it out and take a look at it. It has these two rails on the back side that are built into it to allow us to hook it into that extension gives us a very large countertop extension. It's very sturdy. It's on some heavy-duty drawer glides. So cutting and doing prep is going to be really easy on it. It's a great countertop extension. Let's set that off to the side for now. In the living room, we notice that we have our recliners. Now these are electric. They're directly across from our TV. Very comfortable recliners, I might add. We have a tri-fold sofa, so this is going to fold out into a bed. It's a pretty large bed. We'll demonstrate it. Just pull off these back cushions here. All you have to do is lift up on the base, pop out these legs, let it down, and then we're just simply going to fold down the back. Now that gives us a full cushioned bed. Now you could add a topper to it if that wasn't enough. And on either side we have power is in the form of 110 and USB. And another cool thing is on both sides, they've added storage compartments on the little end tables. So those flip up and expose space down below. We'll get the couch set back up in couch form. Again, you can see it's pretty easy to do.
just get these cushions right back in order and let's check out our entertainment center so the TV station could act as a large buffet it's nice and smooth and flat on top gives you extra room to kind of stretch out if you have friends over and put some extra stuff out but the TV is on a televator you just hit a button it comes right up it's going to be right across from those recliners we have our electric fireplace down below it's going to put out plenty of heat in the winter we have a JBL sound system there as well and it's Bluetooth so you can communicate with it pretty easily from your smartphone we have a massive range and stove here it's an insignia with four burners with a mega burner on it it's got a big old oven down below the microwave is also a convection oven pretty slick over across from that we have our dining table notice that it has no pedestal no legs it's attached to the wall nothing to hit so easy to get in and out of there's two folding chairs that come with it it has an extension to make it a little bit longer pretty simply open it up slide it flatten it out as we head up into the hallway we'll check out the bathroom Our bathroom has plenty of cool features. It's got this great surround in the shower with a wand system, as well as this little bench seat that's here. It folds up, goes flat against the wall to give you more space. There's a spot to put all of your soaps and shampoos. And then over our foot flush toilet, we have plenty of cabinetry and storage on the side. They put this little shelf up for hanging up towels and robes, as well as any other dry goods that you may need. Let's go check out the bedroom. Coming into the bedroom, we have our light switch system. It also has our other controls on board as well. It has a king bed. We've got windows on either side of it that open up to create a cross breeze. We've got LED lighting throughout. There's storage up under the bed. You just lift and reveal that we can see those two extra chairs, our hose system, the vacuum cleaner stuff is all hidden in here right now. At the foot of the bed, we have a chest of drawer. And it's got a few drawers in it as well as a TV up above. This is on a swivel so it can come out and move around a little bit. Our closet system is pretty slick. It's got two sliding doors with mirrors built into them. You can access it from either side. And notice that it has two different hanging areas, a high one and a low one with storage in behind it this storage on the side these shelves can be removed and we can install a washer dryer another thing they did this really cool is they put in this hamper or you know laundry chute that's a very slick feature so i hope you really enjoyed this tour of the jaco 310 rlts until next time happy rving Thank you.